January 30, when God speaks. Suddenly, a fierce storm struck the lake with waves breaking into the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him up, shouting, Lord, save us! We're going to drown. Jesus responded, Why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves, and suddenly there was a great calm. Matthew chapter 8 verse 24 to 26 New Language Translation It had been an eventful year at work thus far. A number of changes were proposed for the organization and there was much talk about the company being sold. Employees watch the proceedings and listen for updates on the new developments and how we would be affected. The events had become personal because the circumstances of our lives were about to change and everything was now uncertain. Even though I was concerned, I was not deeply worried. I had strong faith and trust in God that He would see me through whatever storm was about to come my way. This confidence in God came about when, at the start of the year during the New Year holidays, I had felt a strong urge to fast, pray, and consecrate my life to God. I obey the Holy Spirit's leading to act because something was about to happen. And I would need extra strength from the Lord to see me through. I had my financial commitments and was completing the last module in the final year at the university in order to finish my undergraduate degree. Then, as if this were not enough, one Sunday I was busy at home with domestic chores when I discovered some changes taking place with my body. I had never seen anything like what was happening to me before and became fearful. A visit to the doctor resulted in hospitalization. I felt as if I would not live through that night. Then, I remembered a time of fasting, prayer, and consecration and felt God's peace embracing me. God speaks. He speaks to His people in different ways. When we have a connection with the Lord, we know when He speaks. There was no questioning God in my mind when urged to fast, pray, and consecrate my life to Him. I obeyed and received peace, hope, and strength to go through a raging life storm. But God was in the midst of it. He spoke, and my path became clear through the storm. God will do the same for you. Will you listen when He speaks today? Elizabeth Ida King